What's up guys, welcome back to the video. This video, I do have an update news. Now, if you guys remember, ChandoChap always goes ahead and tries to make things more stable. ChandoChap does go ahead and improve things way back from 6.72. I've been noticing ChandoChap's involvement. He's a great dev. He's been in the scene for a long time. So today we do see that ChandoChap did go ahead and improve the kernel exploit that we have for 9.00. Just to go and mention what these improvements are, we're gonna look into that in just a second. Chameleon did go ahead and update his PS4 all-in-one host for 9.00, which does include the latest Chendo Chaps fixes and improvements. And we will be going checking this out on the PS4 in just a bit. If you look over here, there are a lot of improvements, a lot of technicalities that you guys want to go check out. I will be dropping this link in the description. You guys can go check it out. But just to mention, Chendo Chap does have a little bit of humor, like kills this very, kill its family, kill its friends, kill it all. <laughs> well, Channel Chap does have a little sense of humor there, but this is the code that he did go ahead and improve on. It's about almost, it's almost about 640 additions and 44 deletions. But guys, here's something else that actually did change. He did provide a smaller IMG file which is something that people have been pretty confused about on which one to download and which one to flash. Because when you do look into his files, you guys notice here, here's something that's been released last month, 9.0 is a kernel exploit that we've been all using on our USBs to go ahead and jailbreak on 9.00. But however, this one is updated here just two days ago, guys. This is the XFAT hacks, similar to the previous one, underscore PICO is a new method that he's trying to use. But guys, let me make it very clear over here. There's a lot of confusion over here you do not need to go ahead and flash this again for your usb the only difference about the new one guys it's reduced largely in size and let me explain on why that is so a little bit back 17 days ago loki 666 did mention i'd like to know if xfathacks.img file could be tourniqueted to a 2 mb my idea is to embed it in the spf flash of an esp 32 which is only 4 MB so so guys these particular chipsets do come with a limited size so having that image file about 4 MB long so having the original file size which probably would not fit on those things so that was kind of an issue on having it working from these particular boards but however Chendo Chap did go ahead and work on that so he did go ahead and post this particular thing over here I've noticed that some folks have been trying to run the exploit on microcontroller boards such as the ESP8266 for instance unfortunately the relatively large size which is 4 MB makes it difficult. So that's pretty much what he did. He did go ahead and make a edited version of the xfacthacks.img into this one, which is only a size of 33 KB. That's a huge reduction. It does go and talk about what all changes he's done. And that's pretty much it guys. So you do not have to go and replace your USB pen drive with the new IMG file. So this old file that you have from the last month is gonna work perfectly fine. There is no difference, it's only a difference in size, only for people who are using those specific chipsets. So with that out of the way, let's go and jump into the PS4 and we're gonna look into running this exploit from Chameleon's all-in-one host. So let's go jump into the PS4, guys. All right, guys, so here I am on the PS4. All I'm gonna do first, I am connected to the network right now and I'm not jailbroken at the moment. I'm gonna open up the internet browser close anything that's loading up and I've already gone ahead and tried it out once but I'm going to show you how it's going to work this is the link guys in case you get the older version just go ahead and clear your cookies and your website data in order to do that hit the options button go to settings delete cookies and clear website data once you're done with that you should be able to see a chameleon with a range of colors and that's when you know you're the latest version and also you can see the 4.5 which is what i'm gonna go and show you guys so i'm gonna open this up i'm only cached so it's not gonna be caching right now you have two bin loaders over here you have mira and you also have the gold hen which is version 2.0 b2 which is the latest one so we're gonna go load this up so let's go ahead and click this Meantime, keep your USBs ready in your hands. So guys, the timing could always range between three seconds all the way to 10 or even 20 seconds based on whenever you run it. I just plugged in my USB, waiting for the no storage supported pop up. There we go. I've gotten that. I'm gonna wait for it to go away and then I'm gonna click on okay. Clicking on okay. Jailbreak done. Please remove the USB pen drive, which is important to so go ahead and take it out first. Click on OK. 
And there we go, guys. Golden is now loaded. It's a jailbreak that takes you a few seconds altogether, maybe 10 seconds at max. So guys, that is about it. This is how the jailbreak is working. It's gotten more stable now. It's reduced a few errors that you've been facing on the previous version. So the kernel exploit is getting more stable and it's getting much better for 9.00. Uh, we already had a really good stability and it's just getting better. So that's about it for this particular video, guys. So guys, this is Payload's guess. I was going to make a tutorial about it yesterday. I did, in fact, put everything together. I put all the payloads together in one particular folder. I wanted to send it for you guys and keep it very easy. Like, for example, if I open it up, I do have seven pages of all payloads uh, with custom icons being integrated over here. Some Alasif did design some of them, but some of them I did kind of put it together like the Red Dead Redemption, the GTA mods, etc. However, I did have some issues running it, guys. Sometimes it does slow your PS4 down by a lot that you have to force restart your PS4, but sometimes it just works perfectly fine. So it's not really the best out there, but if you guys still want to go ahead and get this information or understand how this works, let me know in the comments and I'll probably make a video real quick to go ahead and show you on how this works. And if you guys are interested, let me know. With that aside, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a quick video talking about the jailbreak kernel exploit for 9.00 by Chendo Chap. So hats off to him and all the developers. Really great work. 9.00 is a breeze already and is just getting better and better. So that's about it for this particular video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and drop a subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers and happy gaming. Bye-bye.